Hi, Libby from Centric, Lettings Manager of our Solihull office. We're bringing to you a series offering insightful advice and information for all those landlords in the market and also prospective ones. In the series, we're covering all things compliance, legislation, property management and maintenance, market trends including rent reviews, material information and choosing the right agent. In the first part of this series, we're going to be covering compliance, the not so fun part of property, however, the most important. We'll be covering all your legal obligations as a landlord and being clear and insightful to what your responsibilities are. Compliance is forever changing and evolving, and therefore, as a landlord and your agent, you must be up to speed with the current legislation. It's not so difficult to let things slip through the net. Firstly, make sure you've got all the correct safety certificates to ensure that you can let your property out and ensuring that it is safe for your tenants, including EPCs, energy performance certificates, which need to be done every 10 years, EICRs, your electrical safety check, which needs to be done every five years, and also gas safety, which is annual. With your EPC, you need to make sure that it's meeting a minimum efficiency of a grade E. However, there is talks with the government of it being C and above. However, we'll keep you updated with that. Your EICRs, PAT testing will be included with this, ensuring that all the appliances within the property and the wiring is safe. And gas safety, including boiler services every year. As of recent times, there's been lots of changes to the legislation behind smoke alarms and carbon monoxide alarms. You need to make sure you've got one of these on each storey of the home, which is used as a live-in accommodation. A carbon monoxide alarm is needed in every room where there's a fixed combustion appliance. In between marketing the property and moving your tenant in, there is lots to do. Including right to rent, you need to ensure all tenants that are going to be living in the property have valid and up-to-date right to rent, ensuring you also keep up to this during the tenancy. Before a tenant moves in, you also need to detain a deposit, which will come in useful at the end of tenancy for any necessary deductions which may apply. The deposit is capped at five weeks and this is standard across the board. As a managing agent, this is something we would handle on behalf of the landlord before the tenant moves into their property. Once your tenant moves into your property, it isn't as simple as just collecting rent every month. You need to make sure that you're keeping up with your landlord obligations, ensuring that repairs and maintenance are sorted in a prompt amount of time including the structure of the property, any fixed appliances, and anything which doesn't fall under the tenant's responsibility. One that you may not have heard of, but has come into play very recently, and is super important, is the Landlord Selecting Licensing Scheme. This applies to 25 selected boroughs in and surrounding Birmingham, following the likes of neighbouring cities of Nottingham. We understand that the licensing process can seem confusing, daunting, and quite costly. We are offering for our landlords to help handle the application and also process it. You can check out our blog for more information regarding this. One of the biggest things that I hear self-managing landlords say is that they don't need an inventory and they don't want to check out. Whether that's because it's the cost that's involved or the paperwork. We cannot stress the importance of these two documents enough. An hour or two of your time is the only evidence that you'll have to recover tenant depilations. I physically couldn't cover every part of compliance and legislation which falls under landlord's obligation. However, finally, when you're looking to market the property, if you're looking to potentially furnish or part furnish it, there is also legislation falling under this. An often conversation that I have with landlords is if they should furnish or unfurnish a property. The question asked is, will they achieve more rent? However, to be honest, it completely depends on what tenants are looking in the market and where the property is located. However, if you are looking to furnish a property, just be mindful that fire labels need to be visible and recorded on an inventory and all furnishes included need to be safe for tenants use. So that completes the first part of our landlord series covering all things compliance and legislation. Also, if you're unsure and a little bit worried that your property may not be up to speed with compliance legislation, we do offer a checking service. Details will also be below for that.